mess. You're sick. Lately, Drake has traded spicy tweets with Kanye West, turning Twitter into a full-blown reality show with fans grabbing their popcorn. Then there was that Instagram story exchange with Pusha T that had more shade than a beach umbrella, making everyone double tap for more. More. I got that. Mm -hmm. What else? He even had a lyrical tug of war with Meek Mill, where bars were thrown like darts in a pub game that got everyone buzzed. And who could forget the playful jabs with Kendrick Lamar? It was like watching two chess masters making moves, except with rhymes instead of pawns. Each beef served with a side of witty comebacks and viral memes kept the internet feasting for days. So this past weekend, Drake was all anyone could talk about, especially with whispers flying around that Kendrick Lamar and Future might be throwing shade his way. The scene is getting crowded with rappers not too pleased with Drake, and it's becoming a pretty big deal. Everyone was all over Future and Metro Boomin's latest album, We Don't Trust You, which dropped like a bomb on March 22nd. We don't trust you. The track like that, with Kendrick's spitting verses, became the hot topic on the internet real quick. Here we go. <laughs> Kendrick's words seem to throw some not-so-subtle jabs at Drake and J. Cole. Honestly, this didn't exactly shock anyone because it's starting to look like a bunch of rappers have Drake in their sights, but most of it's just guesswork. It makes total sense that Metro would sneak a diss at Drake into his new album, especially after Disappointment on X. You know, the artist formerly known as Twitter about his 2022 album Heroes and Villains, not snagging as many awards as Drake and 21 Savages, her loss. Drake didn't take kindly to that, calling out those who tweet something spicy, then hit delete. Metro tried to play it cool, saying the beef with Drake wasn't anything serious, but then Drake threw more shade at him. Rumors started flying that Metro was chatting about his beef with a girl, and somehow Drake got wind of it. But hey, that's just rumors for ya. Kendrick's been eyeing Drake for a bit, maybe even since his Buried Alive verse back in 2011. In that track, Kendrick hinted that being linked with Drake might not be all it's cracked up to be. Fast forward to 2013, Kendrick dropped a verse in Big Sean's Control, telling out a bunch of big names, including Drake. Drake brushed it off, saying he wasn't losing any sleep over Kendrick's words. Basically, talk to me when you actually beat me at something after the like that. Track dropped, fans started digging for clues of a fallout between Future and Drake. Considering Future and Metro's close work on the album, everyone's thinking Future got beef with Drake too. Remember, Drake and Future were once the dream team with their 2015 hit collab. But then, Drake started hanging out more with 21 Savage, leading to some possible jealousy vibes. Fans picked up on a line in the album about Pillow Talk, thinking maybe Future and Drake are clashing over a girl. This had everyone combing through their songs, trying to piece together this drama. And suddenly, Drake's track What Would Pluto Do seems like it's throwing shade at Future. People didn't just stop there. They went detective mode on Drake's older track, More M's, from 2022, thinking Drake might be throwing shade at Future again. This song has Drake talking about another rapper getting cozy with a girl he was eyeing. And there's this buzz that Future could have been ticked off with Drake over his collab with 21 Savage because it kinda made their own collab seem less cool. This is all from the grapevine, though. No one's heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Adding more spice to the gossip, some big names in the music biz started hitting the unfollow button on Drake's socials. For instance, Nav, who signed with The Weeknd, apparently stopped following Drake. No. This stirred up some drama, especially since Drake and The Weeknd have had their ups and downs. Drake kinda shrugged it off with a lyric quote from Nav's tune on his IG. Then, The Weeknd hops onto a track in that Metro and Future album, making folks wonder if lines are being drawn. Then, there was this moment at a concert where Travis Scott seemed all in for playing the track Like That by Future and Metro Boomin. Since Travis is tight with Kanye, and Kanye and Drake aren't exactly BFFs, people started thinking Travis was also dissing Drake. And guess what? Rick Ross also hit the unfollow button on Drake, which definitely raised some eyebrows. Metro Boomin had enough of the internet playing detective and was like, y'all just chill and enjoy the music. Stop making stuff up. He's trying to keep the peace amid all the rumors that Drake and Future might be fighting over a girl. During one of his shows, Drake opened up a bit, telling his fans he's keeping his head high and his confidence strong. No matter what drama's going around, he's standing strong, ready to face whatever 
whatever comes his way. It's a whole mess of rumors, indirect jabs, and social media. Unfollowing, that's keeping everyone guessing what's really going on. It's like something out of a movie with everyone waiting to see what happens next. Drake's dad even hinted that some rappers might just be stirring up beef with Drake to grab some attention. Drake is basically the king of hip hop these days when it comes to making mad money and getting his music out there. Everyone and their mom, from dudes in their 30s to teenage girls, can't get enough of his tunes like Hotline Bling, One Dance, and Nonstop. It's like everyone's competing to see who can fan out the hardest. But let's keep it real. Some of the stuff Drake's been dropping lately, it's been kind of meh. Like seriously, some tracks are just not it. Plus, Drake's been stirring up all kinds of drama left and right, which kind of makes him the most talked about guy in hip hop for all sorts of reasons. So why's everyone got mixed feelings about Drake? Well, let's dive into it. First off, if you somehow missed it, Drake and 21 Savage just dropped a collab album called Her Loss. And to be totally honest with you, I was like, eh, it's all right, but kind of overrated. Hold up, don't come at me just yet. I get that there are loads of folks out there hyping it up, saying Drake is back and all that. But here I am wondering if I ever want to bother with another Drake review again. Why? Because this album felt like just another bunch of one-liners you'd see on Instagram and dances you'd scroll past on TikTok. Nothing that really grabbed me. Sure, Drake and 21 Savage have been tight for a while, dropping hits together, but I gotta say, maybe they should stick to singles, because it seems like Drake's kinda hit a wall. He's not delivering the bangers he used to. And it's not just me noticing this. Looking back at Drake's work, it's clear the dude's music hasn't been hitting the same high notes since More Life. Yeah, he's more famous than ever, a big name in music and all, but it's like he's reached a point where he's just not bringing anything fresh to the table anymore. So what's up with that? Is it just me, or has Drake really hit some sort of music-making ceiling where he's just cruising instead of blowing us away like he used to? It's like suddenly everyone's coming out of the woodwork, all golem style from Lord of the Rings, ready to shout from the rooftops about how much they think Drake's music ain't it anymore. Do I think Drake's totally lost his touch? Well, it's kind of up for debate. What's crystal clear, though, is that folks have gotten way louder about not digging his stuff lately. It's like there's this whole army of people ready to diss him at a moment's notice, whether they're actually listening to his music or not. Is it fair? Again, debatable. But if you really want to see a Kanye fan lose their mind, just blast way too sexy on loop. That'll do it. But hey, it's not just the tunes that have got people giving Drake the side eye. Besides the whole deal, where he kind of seems like he's trying too hard to be something he's not, Drake's been in the middle of some messy drama, too. There's been some real talk out there calling him out for being a bit creepy, especially with that whole Millie Bobby Brown texting situation when she was still under 18. Plus, Drake keeps throwing himself into beefs that nobody asked for, like his recent swipe at Meg Thee Stallion in his track Circo Loco. It's like every other day, there's a new reason for the internet to get fired up about him. Why do you think everyone's got beef with Drake? Hit that subscribe and like, then jump into the comments.